What I'm concerned about is this notion that you look to the past, notice how much good God has done for you, and then as you turn to the future, it isn't faith in future grace that becomes the energy of your life. It's a payback mentality. It's, it's, he's done so much for me now. What, what can I do for him? That's what I fear about the gratitude ethic. And I know that the, that the people who have the best way of thinking about gratitude, they don't mean that. But I think a lot of lay people labor under the notion, well, if it's gratitude that's supposed to make me a kind person today at work, then how does that work? How does that really work? The temptation to say God has done so much for me, what can I do for him is very great, but it is very dangerous for these three Reasons. I would just like to disabuse you of all use of gratitude in this way. We can never pay God back, not one penny's worth, because every move we make in love and holiness is a move that God himself supplies. So if you say, I look back, I'm so thankful that you died for my sin, Lord Jesus, and now I will... In gratitude, recompense, pay back, and I will tithe, and I will not commit adultery. Every step you take that is presumed to be payback isn't payback. If you believe 1 Corinthians 15.10, it is not I but the grace of God enabling me, so I'm going deeper into debt with every step I take. Here's the good news. You must remain a debtor to grace forever. There will be no amortization schedule set up now or in heaven by which you make payments to reimburse God for grace. And the first reason is it can't be done because every good deed you do, you do by grace and thus incur another debt. Isn't that wonderful? What shall I render to the Lord for all of his benefits to me? Psalm 60, Psalm 112. I, don't, I forgot the psalm. Somebody know that psalm? 116, I think. Verse 12. Holler out if you know that. What shall I render to the Lord for all of his benefits to me? 116.12. Thank you very much. What, what's the answer? What shall I render to the Lord for all of his benefits to me? Answer? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. <laughs> Just doesn't get any better. It's like, okay, you've filled my cup a thousand times. What can I do to make some kind of r appropriate response? Answer? I'll lift up my cup and call on the name of the Lord. Now, you could take that in two ways. One, it's a toast. I don't think so. <laughs> I have no problem with that. But the reason is because the next phrase is, I will call. It's not like I will toast you. I will say, to God. <laughs> but rather, you filled it a million times. I want to show that you've not run out at all. Here's another opportunity. And he calls upon the Lord. You want to make God, you want to make God's day? Hold up an empty cup. 